is our special product of the day. Launches every day at 6 p.m. New and exclusive launches Monday to Thursday at 4 p.m. Where you will find products and offers not available anywhere else. And there's our pick of the week, which launches every Monday at 8 a.m. Taking you into the weekend is our Weekender, which launches every Friday night at 8 p.m. Create and Craft, bringing you seven days of deals. Flexi Buy. It's as simple as shop, click and craft. Buy it today. Spread your payment at no extra cost. There are no fees, no interest and no waiting. So whether you're potty on paper craft, mad on mixed media or just starting your sewing journey, shopping has never been easier. It's time to buy what you want, when you want. With two, three or even four interest-free Flexi Buys. Shop today with Flexi Buy on Create and Craft. Have you found Craft Extra? By tuning in to Preview 85 and pressing the red button on your TV remote, you can stream Craft Extra 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Missed a show on Create and Craft? Then watch again through your connected TV via the red button. Craft Extra, for your extra dose of crafting. everyone thank you very much to Charlie for that first show I am in such a lucky position <laughs> today because I get to work with Sarah Millsop later <laughs> Uh, I get to work with one of my absolute favourites, and I'm so glad because I've said it many I times. Know. I see my name against a Tony Derrick show, and I turn up and find out it's all sold, sold out, and she's gone. But you're here. Yeah, I've, I've given a lot of stock. I knew I'd be able to have my show with you There today. you go. Brilliant. We it's do great work, to see you. Are you well? We work so well together, don't yeah, we? We do. We do. We, we do. We have but but just not time. enough times. That's know, the thing. Are you well? I'm absolutely brilliant thank Good. you the sun's shining you yeah. know it's just it's just amazing isn't Good. it so happy summer everyone yeah indeed well i tell you what we've got some new and exclusive stuff for you as well that was shown yesterday and if you weren't able to watch yesterday afternoon the good news is we actually managed to get enough stock to get through <laughs> to the morning yeah. so i'm really really pleased to be able to show you some new stuff from stamps by me now we've got some embossing folders and it's a pick and mix the six but you can choose any three can't yeah, you yeah so normally we would say oh buy one bundle or the other bundle but i really felt like you know why should I decide what the customer likes let mm. them pick themselves so mm. we've sort of like put this pick and mix together where you can absolutely pick the three that you know you're going to use so mm. when you're spending money you know you're going to use them so we've got um, five six by six ones there all different formations we've got some florals some geometric ones some very modern and contemporary and then we have our five by seven traditional floral which I always have to have some florals because it's me but I can't have them all the time so you've right. got a bit of an eclectic mix here but they are our 3D embossing folders which allow you to get that dimension they are the best on the market mm. you're going to get impacted cards with little to no effort and you can watercolour them uh, it's quite interesting the sunflower one is quite uh, apt because of course uh, sunflowers uh, are our uh, forever flowers uh, uh, offering today as well but let's go through them individually we might as well start with the sunflower seeing as I mentioned it I know Tony's got some great samples to show everybody as well and remember this is a pick and mix everyone so we're going to show you all six of them you can pick any three any three or you can buy them individually and that's the details we've put on them on the screen right now for the individual ones so sunflowers to start with perfect yeah, so for today it's so watercolored but look at that absolute texture it's mm. absolutely gorgeous you can see the dimension in there someone's oh all yes. in it for they're incredible so you can watercolor them you can dust them over with your brushes or just run them over with a lovely ink pad look at this one where the details been put back in with a pencil or a pen or a white gel pen be creative with your color don't be afraid of what um, embossing folders there's so many things that you can do with them and they're inexpensive they're really indestructible as well mm. so pick up that brush pick up that ink pad pick up that um, sticky ink pad add texture play around with them you can't really hurt them they're washable as well and they're so versatile they can give you impacted images or can just be a background white on white I agree now there must be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of you out there who've got a die cutting machine but remember it's a die cutting and embossing machine how many embossing folders have you got oh, I no. remember I remember a lady emailing me to say I said something about I don't think people have got enough embossing folders they've got that wonderful machine that they spent that money on and all they're doing is cutting dies 
<laughs> and I got an email from a lady who said, well, Martin, I have to say, I have a die cutting machine, an embossing machine, and I don't own a single die. I simply use it for oh, embossing. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so embossing folders are absolutely huge at the moment, and they've been around since day dot, mm. haven't they? Because everybody's always been using them, utilising them, whether it be for backgrounds, they've just grown with the industry. They've got better and better, and now you can create focal points, whereas traditionally you would only make backgrounds with them. Mm. You can fussy cut, some come with dyes, some come with stencils. Mm. There's just so much that you can do with them. Mm. It makes me very happy that, you know, the industry is always improving. And that sunflower, just that on its own, embossed and coloured, is the perfect card isn't it? Right, let's move on to the next one. Now, some of these aren't available individually because they've already gone, uh, but this next one, uh, which is called the Wicker Basket, there we go, um, you can get this as part of your pick and mix where you pick three. Um, so, uh, that's a great price as well. Club members are going to be, what, about £24 something, 24 27 for three six by six embossing folders. That's yes, great value. It is great value, absolutely amazing. So here you can see though, so you can create the wave waves. There could be so many things. Look at this one, if you turn it around and make it sort of um, landscape portrait um, in design as well. And then what about if you tear it and make it look like um, a background of hills mm. or something, you can see the um, 3D in there as well. So, so much, I think this was the most popular Yesterday. Well, that's sold know. out on it its own, you, but you can still get it as part of the pick and mix. Right, let's go to the next one, which isn't a 6x6. Six six. This is a 7x5, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Now, this is floral. This is me. Um, so I'm not afraid of white open spaces on an embossing folder. We create corners, frames, things like that, and this is no different. So hopefully you'll be able to see the dimension on there. Add your pearl powders, add your texture paste, watercolored. Just pick up that brush. I am an ambassador of picking up that brush. I keep saying it. I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing it, but I just Our want you. director said that looks li like rice paper, and you know what? That's a really good call. It does, doesn't it? That looks fantastic. I think it's because of the shadow around the outside. Good, isn't it? Beautiful. So, and again, let's sand back or add a colour on top of. You can absolutely do that. And then, what about adding your lovely gilding? Um, mm. Gilding, waxes, waxes on top mousses, of yeah, yeah, powders. Ab absolutely. You can have fun <laughs> with them. There's so much. St this is the thing. There's so much stuff, so much craft products, whether it be a consumable or an item that you're going to use. Like, there's so much. So if we can create something where it's going to bring all the brands together and you're going to use it, mm. I've done my job. As with the sunflower, that on its own is just the most perfect card. You've had the joy of colouring it, but the embossing folder has done all the hard work for you. Absolutely. Fantastic. £8.99 if you want to get it on its own. Right, next up, uh, we've got this one, which is called Boxed In. Now, these ones, when I I'm going to run them through the die cutting machine wow. in white, but look incredible front, uh, front and back. Okay. And wait till you see these, because these okay. are cool. So these are on another scale. These are like, look at that. Ooh, it's pr it is so three dimensional. Is, yeah. And on the other side, you get the totally different look as well. So in cut your embossing folder, spray with water, run it through the machine. And these are the sorts of effects you can absolutely achieve. Now that's the other side of the embossing folder. Looks mm. like steel, metal maybe. Add texture. Mm. That's the other side of the embossing folder. And then, sorry, it's upside down. Add a bit of colour. Yep, I like that one. Again, available on its one. own. It's called Boxed In 686465, but it can be part of the pick and mix if you want it to be. Yep. Right, we've still got two more to see. The next, one, the next one is called Geometric Leaves. This oh, is that's a cracking card. Who did that I one? Paul. You can fussy cut into these ones as well. So you can cut away the flower if you want to. Look at that. And you always like Paul's card. Do I? Always, always like Paul's card. Well, he must he must be a kindred spirit then because that is an absolutely brilliant card. That's the best one I've held up so far. It's no offence to the other design team. They're all lovely. But that, that for me... That could change on show too. <laughs> that's fantastic. And then here's a pretty and pink one where the you can fussy cut the flowers out. But can <laughs> you see the 3D in the background there? Just tilt it forward. Um, and it, I always say that if an embossing folder shows well on white, then it's a good embossing folder. Uh, and the flowers made from the embossing it folder is. cut out, yeah? It is, yeah. Wow. So you can 3D that one as well. And mm. don't think about just thinking it's a 6x6, six six, I've got to use a 6x6. Six six. What about just using the corner of it and chopping into that design and just popping it over the corner of the card mm. and being creative in that way? 
Okay, so we've got one more to show you. That's 240227, the geometric leaves available on its own or in the pick and mix. Now, the next one's called lollipops. Yeah. It's funny because you've written the names on the back here, but your writing is... No, that's not mine. Oh, isn't it? That's okay. Dan's. It's Dan's. It, yeah. Okay. Dan, da look at this. It's our right. thought, yeah. This is, this is Dan Bancroft's writing, okay? And he put this at the back last night to remind himself. I was looking at that this morning and I was thinking, okay, uh, What's what that? on earth is that? Yeah, so good luck. Yeah. Sorry, Dan, if you're watching. I didn't dare touch it. I thought I better not touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, lollipops. This is really clever because it, it's basically swirls, isn't it? It absolutely is. So it's like the ranunculus flower, the roses. Um, I mean, look at that one. That's um, texture on the background with wow. the lovely summer heights in there as well. That one just shows the 3D on a whole new level. That just looks like anaglyptic paper. Mm. You know, the texture paper. Yes, yes, definitely. I won't say from the olden days because you'll probably yes, remember it. Yes, yes. Uh, remember it. I've still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky man. <bear. Yeah. laughs> I just had a sprinkling or a spray of watercolour or, your, you know, your eyes in sprays and things like that. You can absolutely have them Lovely. online and just be creative. Lovely. So those are your six embossing folders. You can buy them individually, apart from one of them. And you can buy them as a pick and mix. You choose any three. Club members 24, 27, I think it is. Fantastic value for money. Uh, great, great saving to be had as well. Now, we've got lots of other things to show you. We've got some wonderful wow powders to show you as well. We did have two sets, but unfortunately overnight one of the sets has sold out. But some wonderful wow powders. Tony's wow powders are embossing powders with glitter in them aren't oh they? yes so basically these are the new summer collection so we have in there summer vibes summer loving and hello summer so we have pink purple and a lovely sort of lime greeny zesty color but they have a clear underlay in them so what's cool about these is when you add them to colored cardstock there we go when we add them to colored cardstock look what effect you get on like craft you can see the sparkle in there on craft cards so this is on craft and let me just show you how different it sorry not that one this one sorry i'm telling you to go to the wrong place my fault um can you see how gorgeous it is on craft because it's got that clear undertone it sparkles even more on your blacks and your crafts and your creams and your pearl cards but equally you can use it as a traditional embossing powder get that lovely outline get those flowers and florals on there i know a lot of people like to collect the wows this is my third set of wow I mean, I'm incredibly proud to be working with WOW and the lovely Marion on there as well. So, you know the value of WOW. They're here all the time. Summer Loving's quite, quite apt with the news this week, isn't it? Well. Oh. They just went, oh, and Tony listens and they've got Olivia newton -Gill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Summer Loving. So, quite, quite apt, that one. Uh, you can get those together, £11.69p. And I have to say, they are some of the very best glitter type embossing powders you can lay yeah. your hands on they also really work just quickly just oh, show this card so crikey. this is sprinkled oh. onto um mirror board so when you pop it on your sprinkle add your i'm going to do this technique hopefully and add that sparkle on top of there if you can and you can get a totally different feel so don't just think about using them in sorry there yeah, we go don't think about just using them in the traditional ways think about using them in very textured ways and different ways as well they're lovely those are your three colors uh, and of course under these bright studio lights you really don't get the effect that you do with your own eyes this is a wonderful like mother of pearl pink it just looks a bit washed out on your screens but if i sort of turn it on its side you might get more of an idea turn it away from the light absolutely stunning uh, the uh, the wow uh, embossing glitter trio 1169 okay moving on we've got more uh, beautiful stamps for you this time of course it's stamps by me we could <laughs> we couldn't do a show without stamps really could we <laughs> you're absolutely right so these are two a5s we've brought these to you twice they've sold through these are what's left from our last show and we've put them together in this lovely little bundle for you because I, th I think they're going to work incredibly well with the embossing folders so you can do them down the sides of your embossing folders if you want to they create slim line cards as well and they've got those large open spaces so you can color as well if you want to if you don't want to be creative with color simply use them in black and white tones they look absolutely stunning so there you can see you've got that lovely geo leaves in the back there and then the beautiful sort of 
um, elongated design on the side. Karen's done a lovely card here because she's utilised one of the embossing folders that we've got for you this morning in the background, as you can see there. But then, obviously, Fussy cut out something that she'd stamped with these Beautiful. stamps as well. Really, really nice. Really, different. really nice. And then yeah. uh, use them with your vellums and things like that. Don't be yes. afraid to, you know, stamp them onto vellums and villa, experiment vellum with one. your pens and your pencils and things like that. They're really unique because they're sort of like elongated rather yes. than a traditional cluster. Yeah. So yeah. if you're wanting something a little bit different, yeah. So we have those available for you. Now then, here's another product that I'm really uh, happy to be able to bring <laughs> to you because it's another one of those that quite often when I get to it, it's sold out. It is, of course, the Eureka tablet, watercolour tablet. It's a stamping platform, but it's not called a stamping platform because it's so much more than a stamping platform. It is. It's I was doing a show yesterday morning over there uh, with Steph Waitman with her painting Perfection. Yep. And I noticed this was on the counter over here and I went and got it because I said it would be perfect for those people that are into the painting perfection system yeah. to use the palettes around the outside for their colours yeah. uh, and actually to be able to just use this as their tablet to paint yeah. on and it become, they could take it mobile. And the, uh, it, the uh, Stephanie paints in those like stripes where she does one colour left, one colour right. That's right. So yeah. you could do that on here as long as you use the paints that Steph uses. It yeah. wipes off, it wipes clean. So it is that station as well. It was created for me to watercolour on the go. It has your paintbrush in there, it has the wells in there. So it was started out as something if you wanted to experiment with your colouring and things like that. But as it grew, as I sort of like started getting prototypes and things like that, it grew into so much more. Yeah. So we yeah. have the scoreboard in there, which is going to enable you to make cards and score lines and all of the things that we need to do whilst we're out and about. You turn the scoreboard over, you have a box template and an envelope template, so if you need to make a quick envelope, you absolutely can. If you want to sit in your caravan and make a whole bunch of decorative uh, envelopes, you absolutely can. It comes with the brush, it comes with the magnet, and it also comes with a foam mat, so if you want to use your clear stamps, leave the foam mat in. If you want to use your red rubber and grey rubber, take the mat out. It stamps onto 3 and 4 mil MDF. It comes with the beautiful pouch to house it because it's going to be taken to all of your classes so you need to look after it. But one of the most important things is the fabulous QR code which is on the back of the box. Couldn't see for looking. And you just scan this here. There's over two oh, it says there, over two hundred <laughs> I said it that many times. <laughs> two hundred and fifty videos of there's actually more, there's nearly a thousand because I use this in every single demo. But it shows you different ways to get the most out of this. And we also have an out-of-the-box experience where I'll take you through five stages of the most key parts of the Eureka that it does. So if you do want to do more than just stamp with it or watercolour with it, you absolutely can. Seed beaders use it. They pop the seed beads in with the elastic band so around. So you could buy a stamping platform for maybe half the price of this, which is just two pieces of plastic that you put together, or you could buy a Eureka and have a complete workstation right in front of you. It's even got a foam bottom so it doesn't slide around. It's just um, the one thing I'm going to say is this is the ideal Christmas present for any crafter, right? If you've got, and, and the good news about this, and I say this many times in the lead up to Christmas, I know it's only August, but you've got to start thinking about it, is if you to go to the, 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 the person in your life that you're buying for that's a crafter and say, uh, Tony, what, what's your favourite brand of stamps again? Yeah. Suddenly you're taking an interest in what they do in crafting like two months before Christmas. It's a bit of a giveaway, isn't it, right? It is. It's a little bit like when you've been going out with somebody for four years and you decide you want to ask them to marry you and you, you just randomly never ask them before. By the way, you've never told me, what, what ring size are you? Yeah. It's a giveaway, it's a giveaway. isn't it, right? If you buy this for the crafter in your life, right, they are not going to they are not going to say on Christmas Day, Oh, I've got a stamping platform. Oh, absolutely not. They're gonna say it's brilliant. I've now got a complete workstation, the old stamping bits of plastic stamping, I'll just use that whenever I you know, whenever I'm doing extra work. So this is a great Christmas present. Under fifty pounds for club members. You've got ten pound fifty saving if you're a club member. It is the I just, I just think the idea of buy now and put it away for Christmas, is, and even to treat yourself, you could even say to your partner, I bought this, you can give it to me at Christmas. Absolutely. And the other we thing all as well it. is, it's a credit to the product we launched in 2017. We sold over 25,000. Mm. It's only just recently come back into stock. 
stock that should have lasted to us until October is already half gone. Mm. So, you know, it's one of those products that I know 100% you will use. Mm. It's not going to get put in that drawer. No. It's always going to be on your workstation. You're always going to have it to hand. You might incorporate some other bits and pieces into it. And we are launching our birthday show in September. We've got some more goodies to go with the yes. Eureka as well. So, Don't you know, know, if you have it. a Eureka... <laughs> If you have a Eureka, you're going to get some more lovely things that are going to complement and help you out with the Eureka yeah. as well. So, you know, yeah. sorry about me. There are things coming to add to it. Um, yeah, and other things which I'm not happy about because I won't be here <laughs> when, it's, when it's on. But there we go. Make the most of it right now. Get a hold of that. yours. Uh, honestly, uh, I, this, you know, you know, over the years, I've, s I've picked out various things that I think are a must-have. Hot lights, yes. American craft card stock, yes. those type of things. If you're going to buy a stamping platform, you might as well buy one that gives you more options than just two pieces of plastic. If your budget's limited and you want a £20 stamping platform, they're great. They yep. do an amazing job. But this help just gives you so many more options. So many more. And it was created with those options yeah. in mind as yeah. well. And if you are crafting on the go, you've got everything you absolutely need. Stick some card in the back of your clutch bag. Take um, some watercolour paper. You really are set. Just mm. a bit of glue, really. Yeah. yeah. 058619. A great Christmas present or a treat yourself present. Right. Let's take you to the website because there are other things on the show that we haven't seen that you are able to get your hands on today. Please don't miss out on any of these fantastic fantastic products from Stamps by Me. This is your only show today, isn't it? Last one today, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Last one today. So this is your uh, opportunity to buy right now. And of course, we couldn't do the show without some lovely demos. So we'd love to hear from you. Studio at CrateandCraft.com if you'd like to get in touch. Um, maybe you've got the Eureka and you'd like to share with everybody at home why you love it. That might help um, other people get theirs as well. And like I say, don't look at it as, a, as something for yourself either. Look at it as a gift uh, for someone. It's, I mean, a decent bouquet of flowers nowadays is going to cost you about that much. And they've gone off yeah. in a week, unless they're forever flowers, which is coming up later. Um, but, you know, a great, a great present. A great present for, you know, it might just be for a friend who's looked after the cat while you were on holiday or something like that, you know. But you can't go wrong by buying it for somebody because you know they're going to use it. I would have normally said check out the reviews because it's people don't get paid to do reviews. People no, just true. leave reviews because they're absolutely pleased with something. I think the reviews never carried over from. No, they didn't. Unfortunately, I believe, but so. I'll, um, they'll build up again. Though. They'll build back up. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. But yeah, it usually I always I say when I buy a product, I always check reviews on it. Yeah. You know, because oh, people are honest when they leave a review. I agree. I tell you what, you can help us out by giving us a live review on the Eureka right now yeah. if you're watching at home and you've That'd got one. Nice. Studio at CrateandCraft.com. Yeah, and, w and if you do email in, let us know what you use it for the most. Yeah. That'd yeah, be nice, there you go. It? Yeah, is it just a stamping platform for you, or have you used it for, for other things? Yeah. Right, right so, cool. Martin, I'm going to run them all through with white. Okay. So, you can sh I can show you the um, how they're cool they are. Um, I don't normally just um, just show and not do anything with, but you on this occasion... You run them through, and I'll hold them up. How absolutely. Them, right? I normally like to do lots of demos. So, I have my demos as well, so hopefully we'll get through. So, this is, let's go with the first one, boxed in. So I'll just run this one through. So I'm just using my little machine here, my A5 machine. But whatever machine you use, if you find it's um, your cards cracking, obviously there are different pressures on different machines. Like I don't get a crack on this machine, but I do get a crack on a different machine at home. Just spray the card with a little bit of water and soften them fibres. It's absolutely fine. So this one is those wonderful bo boxed in, oh my word. Uh, that's the first way round to show it to you. That's the embossed side. Look at the depth of that. That is incredible, isn't it? It really is. And I think in white, uh, you know, it just shows you the detail of that embossing folder. And then you've obviously got the debossed side, which is completely the opposite. But the, the detail is fantastic. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. 3D embossing folders are the best at the moment, so you don't, it doesn't get any better. Let's do wicker basket. With the basket this time. Basket this time? Yep. Okay. Or weave, whatever, or waves, whatever you see. Let's have Next a look one. at that one. Oh, goodness me. Right. This is the, again, I'll. The, which way do you like? It's yeah. good, isn't it? I that think you can that's use both. the embossed side. <laughs> there we go. Have a look at that. Okay. And I think that's the debossed side. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. That's fantastic. So good. Again, incredible detail. 
This one Two. is lollipops. Lollipops, yeah. I couldn't spell Renaki Lewis's, so I thought lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> So this is those swirly sort of um, designs, which I think can be used with all of the quirky, maybe, like your A.O.L. Create, stampy type style ones, mm. like Thirsty Brush. Okay, lollipops, that's the embossed side. They could also, they also look a little bit like uh, tree... Uh, slices, uh, yeah. oh, slices. Yeah, oh. slices, wood slices, and uh, also roses. Our producer just said roses. Yes, there could be roses as well. And there is the debossed side for you. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. That's Now great. we're doing Geo Leaves. Yeah. And this one looks incredible on the back side too. Geo Weave. We'll have a look at that one as it comes out then. Now they are very busy individually, which is fine. You've got the pick and mix, but if there's only two you fancied, well, uh, buy two of them. Although, not for much more. You get a third yeah. one. But it's up to you. Okay, look at this. This is the Geo Leaves, this one. Here's the embossed side. Again, the detail of that is superb. They really are. And they're not pitched as 3D embossing folders either. They, they are, are just embossed. No, they are 3D. They are 3D. Yeah, they're the best okay. you can get. So you don't it get doesn't any say on the screen. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than 3D at the moment. So they are the best. Look at that. Amazing. And, and like we saw on that card that one of your design team had done, you can cut out the whole flower yeah. uh, and bend the, the leaves and there you've got a fabulous paper flower. There you go. Just like that. There you <laughs> go. If I say it and it, and it appears. <laughs> Very clever. Right, that's four. Next one is sunflower. Sunflower. Difficult to say which is my favourite now. I, initially I thought the sunflower. You will start with one and then change. I do like that box like in. in. Yeah. Okay, oh well, I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> have a look. Have a look at the sunflower. That is superb, isn't it? You've got all the detail in the centre here mm -hmm. as well. And obviously you have a deboss side to it there as well. So that's number five. And then the next one is the blooming. Now where is that one? Could I um blossom? You lost one. Oh, it's here. There it is. And it's because I've put it to the side for a demo. So let's show you this one. This one's awesome too. How are you going to decide? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, go for the bigger mix twice. Yeah. <laughs> at least, at least you have hot options. You know, I like the fact that you know you can buy one if you want to buy one, or yeah. if there's three you really. Because obviously, when I put them together, I put together the ones that I think people might like, or the things I like. Mm. Not necessarily everybody's like me. Mm. No, I agree. I agree. It's all different. Here we go. Oh my word! Have a look at this. Have a look at that one. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Every little detail on the buds, the the the, the uh, they look like rose hips, just amazing. Yeah. And there's the debossed side for you. Turn it around. Okay, so uh, our producer said, which three would I go for? Well, definitely the sunflower. Definitely boxed in. Yeah, do you know what my project? My my director says the flower we just did. I. Yeah, I think it would have, it's, it's a toss-up between the lollipops and the Blossom Bunch, but I think the Blossom Bunch would give me more versatility overall, you know? So that would be my pick. What would you pick, Tony? Boxed in, Blossom Bunch. Oh, oh. I'll just have to go like that, I think I'd be happy with that one. Right. Producer Charlotte, what would you pick? The Sunflower. The wave, the, uh, the, that, yeah. Geometric leaves, okay. There we go. So that's four of us have picked and we've all picked basically different, haven't we? That's, that's why I didn't pick. Well, yes, that's why it's I a like pick and mix. That's why it's so what, useful. You, you guys pick yourself, right? Shall I do a quick demo then? Yes, please, yeah. So let's just do the sunflower just very quickly. I've just run it through, but I just want to show you what I did because it's important, because uh, I got loads of messages last night saying, and lots of screenshots saying, how I'm going to do some crafting while you're demoing. Go for it. How did you do this sample? How did you do that sample? So last night I was like, oh, that one's a bit beyond me. I'm not actually sure how. But, um, so I'm going to try and do a few of the demos that, look at that, check you out. I'll present you play. <laughs> I'm going to play. How about that? 
Hey, listen, if I'm going to do something with it, it's got to be inspiring. That is not a bad effort, Martin. I'm not surprised. By I'll the take way. that. I sounded like I was surprised. No, no, I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. That'll do. I need to lie down now. <laughs> right. Right. But they are really, really good. Okay, right. <laughs> sunflower. They, they do want to get you going, don't they? They do. They're good. Right, so here is that lovely sunflower. Now, so yep. I could fussy cut that out if I wanted to. So, a couple of ways. Yes, it's a focal point on a card and looks amazing if we want to use it just as it is. And yesterday you saw me do this demo where I actually did cut it out and I used it with my gilding. So I've created like a bit of an arty card on there. But because it's a focal point doesn't mean we have to use it as a focal point. So I'm just going to go up the centre here. Now you could do this with your guillotine and get it straight. And then cut it into sort of four quarters. Super easy. Nothing fancy here. And then just cut around the edge of each one and you'll end up with four corners of a sort of sunflower design. So I've already gone ahead and done that. Let's just move this out of the way for now. So over the course of these three days, I'm trying to show you different ways that you can utilise um, these embossing folders. I've done non-traditional, so we've gone back way back in the day where we used our gilding waxes and things like that and we've done the brushing over with the ink pad spray with water but I just want to show you that if you are just a clean and simple card maker you can absolutely do that too so let's just move this and this so let's bring in this card so here are all my parts so what I did you saw here so here are the four parts of that sunflower oh yes yeah so you can see I just cut it up as I've just seen there and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take couple of pieces of black cardstock here so if you're batch making you're gonna have a great time with these because you just run a lot through all in different ways and if you are using your inks and things like that you're never gonna end up with two cards the same which is also nice so let's just pop this on here so black in fact let's not do that let's be smart about this Tony so a white piece of card a black piece of card so just some squares one on top of the other like so Take our lovely sunflower that we've just cut freehand and then I'm just going to pop this on the corner. So now we have like a little bit of a decorative corner which is embossed, hopefully you'll be able to see that. And then the next one, so white and black and then another corner. What I should say is, lots of you going for your Eurekas this morning. That gives me a very warm feeling, that does. <laughs> um, because it's such a brilliant product, and I rarely get the chance to be able to bring it to you, because it uh, seems to be out of stock more than it's ever in stock. Never so. would I have ever anticipated, Martin, that you know the re Eureka would be where it's at today. Mm. When I created it in 2017, I thought, mm. do you know what, if I sell a thousand of these, I'll be incredibly proud. Um, it's now award winning. Mm. I don't know many people that don't have one now. Mm. All the guests here, the presenters, mm. they all use it as well. It's just I might get you to do a quick demo with it before the Absolutely, end of the show yeah, if we have time. That. I've got mine under here, so mm. it's always with me. And if you are wanting to know a little bit more about it and you're thinking, do you know what? I'd like to know a bit more and I appreciate Tony can't tell us everything about it on TV. If you go to Create and Craft YouTube, scroll down the page there is a stamps by me playlist i'm there with all of the videos showing you the out of it out of the box experience okay cool. so go and check that out if you're thinking you know what i'm not quite sure you know do i need one do i not so there's our four sort of corner designs there super easy make sure it's straight though that's oh can't even get it straight. I've tried it three times now. Try again. <laughs> That's because I'm thinking about the <laughs> the YouTube. There we go. Look. There we go. I promise you, it's only coffee, nothing else. And then pop this in the corner. So we have sort of like a really abstracted design here. And then what you can do is be quite creative if you want to. So if you want to add a touch of colour, maybe make it look like a bit of um, a sunflower. Bear in mind it could be a daisy, so I've got my Gossip Sparkle pen here, a little bit of orange from an ink pad, and we can just go in and add a little bit of colour from the centres of these lovely um, 
So I'm dragging it out with my sparkle pen here. So the sparkle pens are on the website as well. They're called um, Gossip Sparkle Pens. So I'm just uh, adding a touch of colour. While you're colouring, okay. quick email from Sharon in Milton Keynes. Hi, Sharon. Uh, Sharon says, uh, wow, loving today's offerings. You were talking about what the folder effects look like. I'm thinking the lollipops look like, yeah, wood slices, log, branch ends, I agree. And boxed in could be a certain brand of chocolates. Oh, which ones then? Which As you would say, Martin, other brands are available. Oh, yeah, I would I'm agree. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Tell me. Sorry, what? Which ones does it look like? I don't know what ones she means. I'll show chocolate you Boxed In again. I'm normally all over chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who I doesn't? Chocolate. There's Boxed In again. Okay, a certain brand of chocolates. Oh, as in oh, the shape of the chocolate. Is it Toblerone? Hmm? No, hmm. I was thinking more... Actually, I, uh, there's... No. Oh, maybe. No, I was thinking... <laughs> <laughs> look at us lot. <laughs> We need your help, Sharon. I was, email thinking, back. I was thinking munchies. Oh, that'll be it. That'll be it. Yeah? That'll be it. Other brands are available, of course, Sharon. Oh Thank gosh. you. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm just very quickly adding. And what happens is the colour sits in those lovely deep embossed lines, and you get something that looks absolutely absolutely naturally beautiful so I'm using orange here but you could use your pinks your purples your teals your greens whatever you have in your stash nothing fancy and the sparkle pens are on the web oh we'll go back to that then I think oh sorry I'm talking to somebody in my ear I do it all the time <sighs> sorry Simon <laughs> oh, talking to the voices I, I, in your I, head uh, have, have a word have yeah. a word it happens so there we go, so you've got four lovely squares and you could absolutely go to town, add the sparkle, be creative with the colour if you wanted to, but al already I've got something quite, quite pretty. So let's just bring in a card blank here and just show you how we can build this up. Now we can match the design back up if we want to, but again, it's not necessary. You can absolutely just stick them down and they will still look like a lovely, lovely flower. So let's just pop some pads behind here. So, pop this one, let me just make sure. So, just roughly, if you are, if you like things absolutely precise, then obviously you can do your measuring and add it all together. So, that one goes there. So, what I've done here is just broken that design up and created something that looks a little bit different than as it does when you just do the embossing folder through the machine. So I'll try to do it as straight as possible. Top, top. So we're getting there, look. And then two bottom ones. I don't know where I've got that mucky mark from. Oh, yeah. Giddy kipper, giddy kipper fingers. I get a, I get a mark. Giddy kipper fingers. Oh, what? <laughs> what language was that? <laughs> Say it slowly. Giddy kipper fingers. Because <laughs> I'm trying to sp craft speedy, aren't I? And it's sp that's definitely a northern, <laughs> that's a northern one I've not heard. Oh, this is so not straight now. Stop distracting me, guys. I'm not having you around for a jigsaw party. <laughs> but there we <laughs> go. <at> look. <laughs> Set, you know, broken up, create dimension, and then all it needs is a lovely sentiment in the centre. So you get the idea. So don't use them as just a sterile sort of image. Make sure you cut into them, utilise elements of them, because they're way more than just as they appear. No, fantastic. Seriously, <laughs> um, they are amazing embossing folders. The definition on them is second to none. Um, and we will show you them again. Actually, what I might do is go and show you some of the examples that the team did. Hey? Yeah, because they are <laughs> awesome. They are, yeah. Come on then. Can I go? Whoa, look at that. Live TV. Why, hey, look at that. You could stay there. Actually, you could get ready to show everybody the Eureka if you want. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to show you one, one sample from each design. Let's start with the sunflower. Uh, and this is one of Paul's cards. It just happened to be on the top. Um, I'll, in fact, is it my favourite from the samples that we've got here? <coughs> Pressure's on, Paul. Uh, it's close, but I do really like that one as well, Karen, that Karen did. I like that one. 
so there we go. That's a good example anyway. So that's that one. Um, let's go to the one with the waves. Now, I really need to show you two on this one because you could have them landscape or portrait, as you can see. Um, and, um, yeah, they're really nice. It's, um, it's actually called GM... No, it's not. It's called Wicker Basket. But actually, I think we've been talking, calling it waves quite a lot because it's got that sort of weave in it, which is nice. Okay, so that's that one. Then there's the, um, the boxed in. Now, the samples here are very, very good. I'm going to show you this one because it's been used in its embossed and not its debossed form. Uh, it doesn't say who made this one on the back, but it's absolutely... Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's going to say that's probably uh, Tony. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Was that embossed after it was coloured then? And you run it through. Ah. I'll do that. Okay. Got it. Brilliant. Okay. Then there was the uh, floral one. And, yeah, Paul won this one, I'm afraid, because that card is absolutely stunning. There, like that one. They call it the uh, Blossom, uh, but I'm just trying to read Dan's writing here. Looks like a uh, Bottom Brunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so there's that one. Um, and then we go for, and I've got to show you, that Paul does win this one, I'm afraid, for me anyway, because I absolutely love that card. I think that's absolutely stunning. Um, and that's from the Geometric Hours, according to Dan, but it's Geometric Leaves, I believe. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, he is in today, yes, but I think I'll miss him, but there we go. Um, and then one more, and this one comes from the uh, lollipops, absolutely. Um, and that's, uh, that's another example using gilding wax there, so really, really uh, nice, that one. So that's an example from each one of your embossing folders. Remember that five of them are available individually. There is a pick and mix, though. You can pick any three that you want. It's entirely up to you and uh, save a little bit of extra money as well. Right, let's take you to the website, and then we're going to go over and have a look at the amazing uh, Eureka as well. Um, oh, I've got some emails to read as well. Okay, let's have a look at some emails as well. But we're going to look at the Eureka. It's even in its lovely plush bag there, look. Is my baby so basically it comes in the clutch bag it's actually just under a 12 by 12 station the stamping area is just under 9 by 9 so if you are a 8 by 8 card maker and need to stamp on and off the page you have the capability to do that as well so it comes in the lovely clutch bag when you open it up you get this recess in here and this holds your um, score tool your magnet would normally be in here but it's just inside here so take out your tool which comes as is, and then you also have your magnet, uh, sorry, not magnetic board, you also have your scoreboard in the base here as well. Now, when I created this painting station as it started, so you have your wells across the top and down the side, we also have your recess here for your brush. The recess was purposely put in because I knew you'd lose it. If you don't put it back in there, you're going to lose it. So that was built into the mould for you to put your brush back so you know when you do go to the caravan you have your brush because it's always going to mm. be there so when you open up the tool here it has this foam high density foam mat in here now you can shape your flowers on here you can stick your needles in here if you're doing a little bit of felting or needling and you put your seed beads in here too as well so if you're using a clear stamp you take you leave the mat in you hold your artwork in place with the magnet and you stamp with your door if you are using a red rubber or a grey rubber stamp, you take the mat out and you just stamp onto the base here. Say because they're thicker. Okay. If you are stamping onto um, MDF, just stamp straight into the base. It holds three to four mil a meter MDF. This is one of the strongest magnets you're possibly going to get. It's going to hold everything in place. That's a nine inch square, by the way. The, the area is nine yes. inches, isn't it? So if you have an eight by eight card, you can stamp off the corners as well, which right. is really, really important to me. So then you have your scoreboard. So traditionally, when you use a scoreboard on a glass mat and you pop it on here, this is what happens when you score. Yeah all over so this has been built in such a way that when you pop it in here it doesn't move you're not going to get the wiggly score lines or the mess or uh, another wobbly line it's going to hold it so you have your one inch increments up to eight and eight on there when you turn it over you have a box template to make coordinating boxes and envelopes which is an absolute bonus and it's so easy to do and again the out of the box experience me showing you how to make envelopes is on our youtube channel and create and crafts 
so let's just take that out there let's pop this back in here on the front of the door you have your card sizes so you've got your sizes all down the side of the door here so you can see it there no 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 you can see it like that it's fine oh, you like can that. see it yeah there we go yeah. and then you have your crosshair here so if you want to stamp in the center of a card pop your stamp on these crosshairs and you're going to get it every single time now you can use the reverse of your eureka if you want to it's soft again it's not going to move on the counter as well but the station as itself is used as a messy mat it wipes clean it's absolutely incredible and it comes in that lovely clutch bag keep it all together when you pop it all away keep it all together pop it back in its clutch bag and you're never going to not have everything you need to craft on the go if you are a stamper a watercolorist a beader a flower shaper you have everything mm. You need in well, there. we asked these people to email in if they wanted to tell us what they thought of the Eureka, and I've got two to read you. Um, the first one's from Sheila, who said, I love the embossing folders, can't make up which ones oh, to buy. Bless. Well, it's easy, you buy two of the pick and mix, and then you'll <laughs> have all six of them, Sheila. Um, she said, I bought the Eureka when it first came to air, and it has to be one of the best craft items I've ever bought. Not stamping platforms, the best craft items yeah. I've ever bought. I couldn't stamp before and I wasted so much but now I do a lot of stamping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, so and much. then Jill emailed in to say, uh, last Christmas I bought my daughter Eureka. When I opened my gifts, she bought me <laughs> one too. <laughs> Fabulous piece of kit. I had two other stamping platforms but the Eureka is the best I've had. I use it every time I craft. I love stamps by me and, and my regular customer Tony is so talented I record all the stamps by me shows and often go back to them for inspiration thank you Jill really there you go thank so, you so much, um, two fans of the, uh, the among the thousands of you who are Eureka fans this is a time to get one we've got them in stock this is a time to <laughs> put away for Christmas it really is 49 49 under 50 pounds uh, and I think if that's within your budget, grab it while you can. Maybe you're new to stamping. Maybe you've just sort of got the stamping bug. Um, absolutely fantastic product. There is no question about that. The reason I love it is because you get so much more for your money than a stamping platform. Yeah, and you bought it once, you never have to buy it absolutely. again. Absolutely. Now, absolutely. what's going on here? Right, so I just, oh, sorry. What's so I just set you some, I just wanted you to show. I realise that, but is this for me? Is it? Yeah, just She's trying to con me into doing some crafting Yeah, do you know now? what you just did with the pink on there? Just get the white and just uh, push it over there. Okay, okay. thanks. I'll do okay. that in a I'll second. Crack on. Right. Uh, 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 embossing onto holographic card. Look at that. Look at that. But look at that. Is that not cool? That, that is, is a wow. very cool, actually. Look at that. Okay, so embossing onto a holographic card. Wonderful. Showstopper, that one. Yep, embossing onto black card and then using gilding wax. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, you Again. Embossing onto, but this is like a glittery gilding wax. Yeah, I sprayed it with it's my Difficult Pearl for Winks. you to see. That's been sprayed with something. Pearly Winks. And now some live. Yep, so Max has got a white pigment ink pad and he's just going to brush it over the sunflower. Hopefully. Gen gently, gently. He's just going to highlight that lovely, oh, he's, oh, he's doing a fab job. Ooh, look at that little smile. I saw a little, yeah. he's, he's, he's happy with that one. <laughs> oh, and here's it, one I made earlier. Oh, Martin, that <laughs> makes me so happy. I just saw a little smile in my <laughs> face when he put putting that ink on there. I, no, I love my job. <laughs> there you go. Well I done. was as delicate as I could be. Well done. Wow, that's two things I've crafted today, which is two more things than I've crafted in about the last ten years. Oh, <laughs> easy, wow. ti easy tiger. Keep that. So uh, I'm going right. to use the basket weave okay because i don't think i've really used this one so you've seen over the course of the last two shows we've just used normal cardstock because that's what everybody has in the stash but if you have a bit of watercolor card you can get different results so if you sort of look at your embossing folder when you get it home you have like a rise and a fall so one element is risen and one sort of like um recessed in there you can put ink on both sides okay and just experiment with the different looks you're going to get and that's what i'm going to do now so just, just for instance, let's just go blue. So if you take an ink pad and you just brush it over the ink pad like so, you can't hurt the ink pad, it wipes clean, okay? So don't worry about it. Okay. So just take your ink pad and rub it over. So let's just do blue on this side and then we can pick which one we like. So let's do uh, abandoned coral on this side. 
So on the other side, I'm just going to go all over. And then I'm going to spray with a little bit of water and I'm going to get like a textured bleachy effect. Um, so just, you know, if you want to mix in some colours, add different colours, spot, spot some colours around, it's totally your call. But again, they wipe clean, have fun with them, that's what it's all about. So let's spray this embossing folder. Just with a little bit, I'm, I am spraying it with my Pearly Wink Sparkle, but normal water works a treat as well. And then, just pop your watercolour card into your embossing folder. Close the embossing folder and you can, oh here we go, here we go. I've got to spray my artwork now. I think I've got most of it on my hands, but... You are going to be sparkly now. Yeah. That is so sparkly. <laughs> he just does not know how much sparkle is in that bottle. Wait a second till he dries. Okay, wait till that dries. Can I have uh, something to wipe my hands, please? Because I've got plenty of sparkle on me as well. <laughs> it's a bit messy, this craft, isn't it? Have you seen my desk? Yeah, I have seen your desk. Yeah, that's why I did it over here. It's sparkling. Right, so that all should, I've done... That'll be dry soon. Is, oh, running it through without my plates. So, no, no. Let's pop this on here. Thank so you. this is watercolour <laughs> card. So what will happen is, because we give it a spritz with some water, it'll sort of give a totally different look. <laughs> just trying to get the sparkle off my hands. Oh looks like I've you. just come from a very Can't good disco. Oh. <laughs> oh, what have I done? I'm here trying, no wonder I can't get through. I'm using all my mats. <laughs> well, are you ready to stand by for the sparkliest card ever? It's got to dry first. It'll be dry before the end of the show. That's the reason yeah. for you to stay tuned. You can see how I've massacred the sunflower. <laughs> so just run it through. Let's just move this out of the way for now. Okay. And let's show you the sort of look you get. Oh my word. When you add. Can you see Actually the colour's gone into the recess there? Yeah. And then when you turn it over, look at the different look you get on the other side because we did it. So now it looks like rope. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Ropey wire it and it's got sparkling because we use sparkle spray. So let's just quickly spray this one. So dry this one. My sunflower looks a bit ropey now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't. That is sparkly. It is very Don't sparkly. Don't you worry about it. I'll sort it out for you. Mm. Look at spark. It's not tight with spark. You can see he didn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just get my tissue out. I'll just, I'll just sort, of sort you out a little bit here. Oh, I thought I. I there you go. I think that. Oh, I'm pretty. I use the tissue that I use for my nose because of aircon. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> there you go. You can tilt that. I think I'm quite pleased with that. I'm pleased with it and all. It's actually. Look, I'm pleased with this. Look, oh, I'm pleased with the, look the at sparkle. That. Look at that. Smart. I haven't done too bad a job there, surely. You haven't, it's good. Mm. Okay. Just let me just so the hands have got, it's gone off the hands now. Okay. So I'll just quickly dry this one off. And obviously, um, when you've run it through your embossing folder, I've got a bit of blue on there because I must have had blue before. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit and then let's pop it onto our lovely card. Now, on the website, we also have some of the hot air balloon left from my last show, which is Summer Heights. So I'm just getting rid of any mess on there because I've got a bit of blue on there from when I must have done another technique. So make sure you clean your embossing folder. What is that stuff? It's pearl pearly winks. glitter pearl. Yeah, it's my favourite. pearly winks. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Uh, yeah. Leave it there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in now. He's hooked. First time you'll be spark you'll have a sparkly steering wheel now on your car. Yeah, sparkly steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, it'll all be all over the steering wheel driving yeah. home. So I'm just so it's up to you which uh, sort of design you want to use. Did Do I hear Dawn Wheeler was in then, by the way? Did I hear Dawn? Did yeah, I hear Dawn Wheeler did. was in the building? You did. I think. Yeah. I heard it. Yeah, did you? Did yeah. As well, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget Craft she, Extra Live. She's 10, here. 11, <laughs> 1 and two. <laughs> you hear it, can't I you? I can hear her. She's yeah. in another room. I can hear her. We can hear Dawn Wheeler through a through a closed door and the producer's microphone. And I can, we can hear that. <laughs> so I'm going with the blue on this occasion. Mm. So we have our lovely sort of ropey design there. And then this is that lovely hot air balloon in black and white with the dye. Look how gorgeous that is, just black and white. Absolutely gorgeous. Add a bit of colour and some sparkle. And this is the sort of look you can get. So let's pop this on here. I'll just get you this off. <gasps> Wow. 
like so so we'll just pop this off to the side and this is where again you can play your embossing folders up totally if you want to or equally just use them as a little accent and play them totally down and just use them as a background great for gents cards embossing folders mm. Brilliant. that's it and then so that's just a very simple awesome very sparkly so you can absolutely play them up play them down play with color maybe not do as you wish they're so versatile white on white even looks incredible okay now we're going to give you the details of that summer heights uh, stamps and dies collection and then we'll go back over and finish the show where we started with our wonderful embossing folders and uh, show them to you one more time uh, so summer heights is four double six nine six one uh, and it is, of course, a two A5 stamp and two die sets, or uh, yeah, two yep. die sets as well. Right, yep. um, and that's a great price as well. Right, we're back where we started. Time's running out on us. Um, it's all about the embossing folders today, uh, and they are a pick and mix. Remember, so you can pick any t any three from those six there. Five of them are six by six, and one is an, is a seven by five. And they're all awesome. Hopefully you can decide which ones you want. We'll try and help you make up your mind if you haven't already right now. So we're going to kick off with the, um, the flowers. These are the um, geometric leaves. Yep, so build them up, use them in white, add that texture. Could you imagine like a pearl gilding wax on here, just as mm. an accent, nothing, even on the white, that would look gorgeous. Or according to Dan, the grommative loaves. <laughs> yeah. So bad. <laughs> this is the first demo we did, so... Cut, fussy cut, twisted the design, add a bit of watercolour behind, so you can absolutely make them abstract and pretty. Okay, that's the sunflower, but according to Dan, a soup lover. <laughs> soup lover. Um, boxed in. Again, with the ink on, it just... Yeah, boxed in, I've got that one. Yeah, he's got that one, I can read that one. But I suppose because I know what it is And now, then we have the one that we did yesterday, which has got that lovely accent of that flower in the background and that hot air balloon just sitting off to the left. So it just shows you that you've got two quite large impacted images there, both on the same card, but they're not fighting against each other. They look incredibly well together. Blossom brunch, that one, according to Dan. Nice Breakfast one. Breakfast brunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blossom bunch, that one. Uh, it, it's the same as this one that I did earlier. <coughs> I'd never say that before. There's one I did earlier, look. To show your best one, though. Yeah? Were you saying that one's rubbish? No, it's good, uh, but <laughs> your best. You have to show your best. You always show your best. There's the sunflower that I sparkled up. That just needs a bit more white on there. I know, I was being part. very delicate because I could feel the pressure of you were breathing down my neck. Yeah, I saw yeah. a smile. <laughs> and if you want a watercolour, you can absolutely watercolour. Nobody actually would have to know that. There isn't, mind you, you can if you tilt it forward, you can see it's an embossing folder. Mm. But to look at it as a glance, it looks like it's a freehand painting. There's no it lines. It does, actually, yeah. So, does. you know, people would be like, oh, oh, what's going on there? Tell mm. me more about that. Mm. Uh, okay, so this is your last opportunity to get these, although you can buy after the show. Please, please think about the Eureka as well. Yeah. Uh, an amazing product that will just give everybody so more, many more options than a stamping platform. Uh, you heard what uh, Jill and yeah. Sheila had to say about it. Uh, maybe that could be you emailing in next time saying, I bought one when it was on the show and I absolutely adore it. We'd love to hear that if you do. Don't miss out on that. Now, when are you back next? Um, 23rd. 23rd of August. Okay, that's not that long away. That's no. about 10, 12, uh, two weeks, just yes. less than two weeks. Yes. Any idea, any clues what no, you're bringing? I'm not telling. Okay, great. Sorry. She always does that to me. Yeah. I'll check whether I'm in or not. Uh, Tony, as always, you, awesome great to job. see you. Awesome to see you. Great Thanks job. for your company as well. Have a safe journey home. We'll see you very soon. Don't forget, you can order after the show. I'll let you know what's coming up next, and I'll see you in an hour's time.